Hey, welcome back to my channel, Duct Tape Mechanic, and to another episode of my series, Free on Facebook. A series of videos in which I pick up things for free, and I show you how to repair them, repurpose them, or recycle them in another way. In this video, I got this Samsung washing machine that keeps adding time to the cycle, and then eventually it gives a UE or a UR code. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this error and get your machine back up and running. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more DIY and tinkering videos. So I picked up this machine and uh, the owner was saying that it's leaving the clothes wet. But it turns out the reason it's doing this is because it's throwing a, I believe it's a UR or a UE code. Um, Samsung's uh, use that code interchangeably. But what's basically happening is that uh, it's beginning to agitate the clothes and the washer drum is getting unbalanced so the machine adds a little bit more time and then it does another um, agitation cycle and then it adds more time eventually it, ti it times out and gives that air so what's happening that's leading to your clothes being wet and dirty isn't a drain pump or a motor issue as he thought but it's, it's actually the suspension rods and so I'm going to be showing you how to replace the suspension rods on this washer and uh, we'll get this thing up and running real quick. And this is, I just picked this model up. I don't work on Samsung's all that often, but um, they're really no different than any of the American made uh, machines. This has got some bleach damage here, but uh, uh, just a little bit of work with my metal brush and some epoxy primer will take care of that. And if you're wondering um, what model number this is, I'm going to have to find it where they have the model numbers on the Samsung's. Uh, they're all very similar, all of their um, VRT top load Samsung's. So this applies to multiple different models, but that's this particular model number. All right, let's get to work. So here's an example of that weird clicking noise that this machine is making during the agitation cycle. I even open up the back panel to get a better idea and better understanding of where it's coming from. Sometimes it's even worse than that. So the nice thing about these Samsung washing machines is that when they become unbalanced, mostly due to it bad suspension rods, they'll shut down and throw an error code, unlike some of the other brands, which just bounce around like crazy. Um, the second thing I really like about them is that the suspension rods are just one piece, whereas on Kenmore's or Whirlpool washers, there are three pieces where you have a rod, a bearing, and a, um, a clip, which makes this these ones a lot easier to install. All right, so the first thing you need to do is undo these screws in the back here, right here. These two. What I meant to say is uh, some of the washing machines don't have this bracket, they just have the two screws. So they still have four, but they won't have this bracket. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take these two screws off and take off the bracket. All right, so after the screws have been removed from the back, the only thing we need to do is take the top off. So in order to do that, well, you need a putty knife. So we're not gonna be taking it off completely, we're just gonna be lifting it up. So we get the putty knife and we'll be doing, pushing in on these clips, which are located approximately six or seven inches from the edge of the washer. So once we find the clip, we'll just kind of push it and pull up at the same time. That's one. There we go. So now we just set the top up. Here are the suspension rods on each corner of the machine. So the way I'm gonna be doing this is I'm gonna be replacing one suspension rod at a time. So we'll eventually do all four, but first I'll remove one of these, then I'll put the other one replacement or suspension rod in, then we'll move on to the next one. Um, if you do all, if you remove all of them at once, this whole tub will drop down. And personally, I don't like to do it like that. I find it it's a lot harder and more troublesome to do it that way. So let's get to it. 
Alright, so the first thing we'll be doing is sticking our hand down there and pulling up and then pulling towards the tub right here and that will release the rod then it should just drop down and out the slit right there the little plastic piece and you should be able to just pull it right on up the nice thing about these these are all one piece so that rod is removed and we'll stick the replacement rod in there next all right so to install the replacement rod we're going to put the bottom piece of the rod right here under through that slit just like so and like that so then after that all we got to do is just pull up from the stem of it and drop it into place that's nice and easy there's no bearings or clips like the whirlpool ones which i really hate doing but so yeah that's one we'll move on to the rest of them next all right so i'm gonna do a different perspective on this one right here i'm gonna do, try to do it one-handed while holding the camera with the other hand just so you can have a different perspective of it and hopefully that'll gives you a bit more of a different view but uh so basically i'm gonna stick my hand down there and pull up and drop it in there there we go and that should allow us to slide it right out there we go so that's how you remove that one all right to install it first we're going to stick the rod into that hole right there so see the bottom portion of it so this this piece should be in the bottom side of that hole we stick that down there all right and then we'll just pull this up and into place there we go now we should do that for the remaining two rods in the back all right so the suspension rods have been replaced we're just going to put the top down back onto these clips and then screw it in for the back So I got this machine hooked up to my test station, got some duct tape delicates in there as well. And they're washing away and everything's going as normal as it could be. That clicking sound that was audible earlier can no longer be heard. So that was an indicator that the suspension rods were indeed bad or, or, or were on their way out. And so now this machine is working as it should. Anyways, if this video helps you fix your washer, make sure you hit the thumbs up sign.